Hey, what is going on guys? It is Young here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video and in today's video I wanted to be talking about how to clutch out more games and in this gameplay right here It's not that high of a kill game. I think it's like 11 or 12 kills But I had a really really good clutch I was having to clutch out multiple gunfights on no HP and just overall It was a very good game and a gameplay that I wanted to show you guys even though it's not the highest of kills It was a very good game a very clutch kill game and I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. And before we get into the video, I have a V-Buck giveaway. If you guys want a chance to win some free V-Bucks, all you need to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on my notifications, and leave a comment down below of your Xbox Gamer Tag, PSN Gamer Tag, or Epic account. And as well, make sure you guys have me supported as a creator on the item shop. All you need to do to do this is go to the item shop, hit X, type in Young Humor. That's all you have to do, and you will have me added and supported as a creator. And all right, guys, let's go right to the video. All right, so in this video, like I said earlier, I'm going to be talking about how to clutch out games in Fortnite, and specifically what to do when you kind of screwed over. Because I did a video a few days ago, or maybe it was a week ago, and I talked about different situations, maybe if you're running low on mats, maybe you're low on HP, or just different situations like that, and it was something titled like how to deal with pressure or something along those lines. So it was a really, really good video. I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't already. But for the gameplay, I think I dropped like a 20 bomb in the background or some really good gameplay. And then for this one, this actually is where I got screwed over so bad. It was like towards the middle of the game. So it wasn't even just at the end. It was towards the middle and it drug all the way through the like to pretty much the last team where I had no mats and I had no heals. So I was struggling the whole time. And the thing about this game specifically is I had a really good start. I think I had like four kills or something along that. And it really wasn't too many kills, but I came out of Tilted Towers with a full shield and an extra 50 pot. Just in case like I shot a little bit, I could pop an extra 50 and I would still have shield. But towards the middle of the game, I would get hit by a big shot from the heavy shotgun. And as well, I'm going to get caught by the storm. So just overall, a really bad situation. I should have died this game, but I had a pretty crazy clutch you guys are about to see. But when it comes to clutching out in the end game, or just clutching out any time at all, you have to realize how much HP you have, and you have to try to think about how much HP the other person has. Because if you're going to a gunfight, and you don't know how much HP the other player has, and you have, I would say, like 10 HP, or maybe you have like 20 HP, it's going to be very difficult because sometimes you don't know how much HP they have, so you don't know what type of shot you have to go for. But either way, in situations like that where you don't know how much HP they have, I would just assume that they have shield 100, I have 150, or maybe you have even 200 HP. And the way I would play it is you have to kind of realize it's basically you have to go for a good shot on them or you're going to be dead. Because if you have 20 HP, or you're maybe rocking 50, or you just even no shield at all, you're, gonna you're at a major disadvantage. So if someone comes around the corner spraying or whatever they're doing, what you have to do is pretty much the only option in the situation is to get a pump headshot hit for that 200 damage. So if someone comes around the corner, you haven't touched them yet, they have full HP and you're at 20 HP, pretty much I would go all out for that pump headshot because if you don't hit the pump headshot, you're going to be dead. So I would try really, really hard to hit that pump headshot, get as close to them as possible. So you have to have that kind of mindset when you want to clutch out a game. Because it comes, when it comes to clutching, you're either going to have no mats, no heals, or maybe you're at a disadvantage when it comes to player count. You have to pretty much go for things, and you have to take a little bit of risk when it comes to going for things. So here we are going into the gunfight with the team. We're at a pretty good advantage. I have good weapons. I have a big shield. And I just a little, lost a little bit of HP, but it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going over here. My teammates focus on the other guy. I get a knock on this player. So now I'm about to push up because my teammates find the other player. So I'm looking around for other teams, I think I hear a plane nearby. So the other player came around the corner and my teammate was able to finish him off. So a pretty clean kill on them, I didn't lose too much HP, they had still extra minis. So right now we're in a pretty good spot, storm's starting to co close in a little bit, and but we're right next to the storm so it doesn't really matter. But at this point we're getting quite a few tags on this plane because you know, planes are super annoying this game, trying to take him out as much as possible. So my teammate goes down inside this box, so at this point I'm trying to break in there, try to get a shot on this player. And I unfortunately missed the edit and it happened super annoying. I probably would have been in there and got some good tags on him. So here in this situation, I don't even think I had a launch pad. I was in a pretty good, pretty bad spot. The only heal I had was a big pot and I had 40 HP. At this point, I'm like, screw it. I have to go for this kill no matter what. And I was able to get that clutch kill on this guy. And the second I kill him, he actually dropped a rift. Which either a rift or a jump pad is the exact thing that I needed. So I got the rift and I headed out. Super clutch play right there. I came out of the storm with 22 HP. So now I have to be careful the other player is trying to shoot at me. And when it comes to other players shooting you out of the air when you're low, you always want to try to get to the ground as fast as possible. Going straight down is going to give you the best chance of not getting shot in the air. 
So right here, we have 12 people left with 6 kills. I don't have that many mats. I like 400 mats, which is enough for a fight. But other than that, I really don't have the most HP, only 72 HP. And with shotguns doing a lot of damage in this game, one shotgun shot and I'm dead, or maybe two tap with the heavy AR. So I can't really take too many bullets. And if I take any bullets at all, I don't have any more heals, so I can't replenish any of my health. So at this point, what I had to do is I had to go for the other player in the gunfight. I had to go for the other player that came from the storm, because if not, I was going to be running into a team of two for sure. And the current state I had, it really wasn't the best idea just trying to rush into a team with, with low mats and low health, especially because you don't know if they're going to be spraying, if they're going to have full HP. So there's a lot of factors you have to keep in mind. So here we exchange tags, and I'm down to 5 HP right now. Not the best spot, so I, I know I have to go for this kill or nothing. So I'm trying to shoot him down, because if this guy's on high ground, he's going to have a huge advantage on me. And it's going to be very easy for him to get a shot on me. But the second I was able to get high ground, I take full advantage. And when you have low HP, or even if you have a lot of HP, you don't want to give up that high ground position, because that is the best possible chance you have of winning that gunfight. This guy sees me over here, I knock him. So a really crucial, crucial knock, because... I would have got sprayed by the team on my left. I almost got caught up by the storm. That would have been pretty embarrassing being able to hit that snipe and then immediately dying to the storm. So I barely missed this guy. And at this point, looking at my mat count, I only have 200 mats. And when you have low mats in a gunfight, you have to play as aggressive as you can. And if you don't, you're going to get screwed over because they're going to keep spraying you. You're going to run out of mats. And challenging a guy on 20 mats, you're going to be dead every single time. So I managed to put the floor over that player and then edit down and then put my trap. He put a pyramid over, but I was down enough to where it didn't, didn't actually cut me off. So getting that kill, unfortunately, he didn't have any heals at all. So super unlucky about that, but he did have quite a bit of mats. I think I'm up to about a thousand mats. I went from like pretty much 100 to 1,000, so a pretty good jump on Matt, so at this point, I need to play really, really slow, because there is a team that I snapped at earlier, that guy definitely got the res off, I would have thirsted him if I could, but they're definitely over there, and then I have a player next to me, on low HP, if I try to go for the player near me, I have to be careful of another player spraying me from the back, so I don't want to take any too many risks, so I see a make it down there, and I wanted it so, so bad. So I come down a little bit, and I'm being very careful not to take any damage at all, building all around me. So his teammate actually grabs a plane and dips because I didn't take any damage to that player, so he had no idea that I was one shot. He probably thought I had 200 HP, really, really good guns, and really, really good mats. So I don't blame him. That wasn't a bad play by him. It was able to give me the med kit off, but at the same time, I don't have any extra heals. So if I get tagged by anybody, I get sniped. I'm going to be in a very bad spot. So right here, I have my builds out, and they're, they're looking the other direction, but if they were looking towards me, I would spend those extra mats building across, just so I don't take any damage, especially because I don't have any more heals. And if I had more heals, I could be a little bit lenient about it, but since I have no more heals, I have to be very careful about taking any damage at all, because any damage that I take, I'm not going to be able to replenish or ever get back. And here with the possible chance of this guy having heals and getting a few tags on him, I'm going to push as hard as I can, because I know that team is still behind me, so I want to try to get this guy as fast as I possibly can so I'm playing really really aggressive looking for shots on him building around me so I don't get shot from the other team and really just try to pick this player off as fast as I possibly can but this guy is just building one by one warrior I, I'm having a hard time killing this guy I'm building around trying to go for an edit play figuring out where he's at because there's a lot of builds around here but at the same time I do need a lot of builds if I get pushed by another team so here I'm reloading all my guns and I'm still trying to get this guy out in case anything happens I still have two rifts and at this point I really had a deagle I could deagle one of his walls take control of it it'd be very very simple but here I'm trying to break the builds up a little bit and put in RPG so he can't just move around between one by ones constantly so I'm trying to get him cornered a little bit I get control the floor panel and i get control of here so at this point it is a risk a little bit risky of a play because once i edit it if he knows i have the edit he's going to be looking straight up at me and it's going to be very difficult because if i jump inside of it he could trap me this player finds his way out of the box and catches a 110 straight to the dome so a really good shot right there and i was able to pick him off pretty cleanly so here normally i would keep the risk but at this point i really needed heals just in case i got any people who tagged on me so at this point it is a 2v1 so this is probably one of the easiest fights i could have in this game because i have a little bit of heals and of course it isn't the easiest fight because i'm gonna get spammed by rpgs but it's a lot better than fighting players on no hp or fighting them with no mats so here i have a little bit of mats i have about a thousand materials and as well i have 150 hp and along with six minis and a really really good loadout 
So here I'm trying to get as many tags on the other player as possible without getting too tagged by the guy deep. And with this player under me, I put a rocket as far enough where it hits him but it doesn't hit me. So I get the knock on this guy and I'm going to get one tag on this other player and I'm going to jump down, go for the kill and hit that player with a very clean body shot to finish out the 11 kill win. So this is a very hectic gameplay for me personally. It's a lot more hectic when I was doing it live. But with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys like this video. And if you could, drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on my notifications to be notified for every single new video. And alright guys, I will see you next video.